If you've played any of the Fallout games since Bethesda acquired the franchise, you've probably asked yourself which of the playable characters would win in a fight. In this video, I'm going to do my best to figure out who would win in a battle to the death between the Lone Wanderer, the Courier, and the Soul Survivor. Now, before we start analyzing each of the characters, we need to decide where they are at the start of the fight. What I mean is, for example, are we looking at the Courier after Doc Mitchell sends him out the door, or after the second battle of Hoover Dam? There's a significant difference in how powerful he is in each scenario. For this video, I'm just going to look at where they are at the start of the game. There's a hell of a lot more to consider doing it the other way. Let's just say that this is round one. Chronological order sounds nice, doesn't it? The Lone Wanderer is up first. He grew up inside Vault 101, which was a relatively nice vault. The Overseer was a dictator, but there weren't any crazy experiments. Because of this, the Wanderer likely doesn't have much combat experience, aside from a few scraps with the Tunnel Snakes growing up. He kills a rad roach with a BB gun at his 10th birthday party, so it's not too much of a stretch to assume that he's at least handled a firearm. After all, Amada gives him one when James leaves Vault 101. James, the Wanderer's father, was a doctor. This is where the Wanderer might have the advantage. Growing up with a doctor as a parent, he probably has more medical knowledge than the average wastelander. Like I said though, Vault 101 didn't have a lot of violence, so the duties of the Vault's doctor were likely not too extreme. He wasn't treating bullet wounds every week. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of information about the Lone Wanderer. His past is purposely left ambiguous to allow the player to see themselves in him. Next up is the Courier. This is where things get interesting. Much of his past is a mystery, but there are things we can deduce from dialogue in New Vegas. He's likely in his mid-30s, as he says in a conversation with the Lonesome Drifter that he impregnated a woman in Montana 18 years ago. The Courier was also responsible for helping establish a community or settlement in the Divide by discovering a supply route. However, it was also the reason why it turned into the hell that it is now, as he accidentally set off a bunch of nuclear warheads. Those two pieces of information tell us a lot. Montana is about 800 miles away from Las Vegas, which means the Courier has traveled far and has managed to survive. Greater groups and hostile mutated creatures are a deterrent against leaving an established community without being well armed. He also grew up in the wasteland, which suggests that the Courier is more of a jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none type individual. Kids in the wasteland are often taught the skills necessary to survive. And with the Courier being a Courier, he had to be able to travel long distances, handle himself in a fight, and patch himself up if he got hurt. Last up is the Soul Survivor. Like the Lone Wanderer, we don't really know a whole lot about the Soul Survivor. One of the first lines of dialogue in Fallout 4, outside of the intro cutscene, indicates that the Survivor is a veteran. Lookout, a robot on board the USS Constitution, scans him and states that he was part of the 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion, of the US Army. It's likely that he's a veteran of the Sino-American War, given the fact that it was the most recent large-scale conflict prior to the Great War. Also, a terminal entry in Fraternal Post 115 indicates that the sole survivor is not just your average veteran, but was revered as a wartime hero, suggesting that he was quite capable in combat. Because the sole survivor was a soldier before the war, we know that he received actual military training, not just what Wastelanders have learned over time. He was properly trained with firearms, combat tactics, and possesses at least a basic knowledge of how to survive when in a hostile environment. Suffice it to say, he can handle himself in both a firefight and a physical confrontation. And now the $34 question, who wins? Keep in mind, this is just my opinion, it's not a fact. You're welcome to disagree. If you think I'm wrong, which I very well could be, I'd love to see reasons in the comments. It would help make round two even better. Let's get the obvious out of the way. The Lone Wanderer gets fucked up. He's 19 years old and has only known life in the vault. Shooting rad roaches or getting into fights with bullies doesn't compare to a lifetime of surviving in the Mojave or proper military training. The Lone Wanderer dies first, no question about it. For the Courier and the Soul Survivor, there are a few more things to consider. One is where they fight. No matter where it is, it's gonna be in a wasteland. Maybe Nevada, maybe Boston, maybe Washington DC just to make it fair. Either way, the Courier has the advantage. He grew up in the wasteland, he knows what to look out for and what to avoid. The sole survivor has just stepped out into the wasteland for the first time. 
That's gotta mess with his mind in a not insignificant way, seeing the world he once knew destroyed. If you look at the weapons and armor they start with, a jumpsuit and a 9mm pistol for the courier, and a vault suit with a 10mm pistol for the sole survivor, they're pretty evenly matched as far as equipment goes. I'm gonna give the edge to the courier. He's lived in the Mojave for a while, likely his entire life, traveled to some of the most dangerous places on the west coast prior to New Vegas, and made it back in one piece. The sole survivor knows his way around a gunfight, but that's in a militaristic setting. Living in the wasteland is less about winning and more about making sure the other person loses. You're not facing soldiers, you're facing some of the most sadistic and psychotic people alive post-war. Army protocols and rules of engagement are not existent. The Courier wins. That concludes round one. Round two, we'll deal with each character at the end of their games, taking into account the factions backing them, the weapons and armor at their disposal, and what sort of perks and skills they can use. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video about the Lone Wanderer versus the Courier versus the Soul Survivor. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.